Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are continuing to build their lives in the US after being branded a Hollywood flop, but royalists wonder if the couple will find commercial success without the help of the royal family. It's very difficult because he is part of an extraordinary institution and then suddenly he's cut free from that, he's gone off on his own, it's a brave step into an unknown world, Hugo Vickers said. What worries me is that I think, whenever I see images of Range Rovers and things coming to the airport and security people that's jolly expensive and they've got to keep moving the whole time to finance this life, and I've been to Montecito and that's pretty and lush and expensive too, he noted. The Sussexes have been harshly criticized in the past for giving up their senior royal positions but continuing to use their formal titles professionally in America. They're relying to a large extent on celebrity with a royal connection, Vickers added. Unless they keep coming up with new initiatives and new goods, they're going to disappear like so many other celebrities, he explained. Once that happens, I think the future is going to look rather bleak. Harry and Meghan recently wrapped their trip to Colombia, but they couldn't escape the rampant criticism for accepting the opportunity in the first place. Colombia paid almost two million US dollars for the security of this trip and there are many, many Colombians who are hungry and have a lack of basic needs, right-wing counselor for the city of Cali Andres Escobar said. They invested this money because the vice president wanted to meet to high-profile public figures and brush aside criticism and problems that we have here through a corrupt government, Escobar added. We are in an economic crisis and 8 billion pesos have been spent for the visit of Harry and Meghan, Colombian military planes and helicopters have been used and the money could have been better spent. As previously reported, the couple was given an immense security presence while in Colombia. According to a report, the Sussexes had 14 car and police than convoys. The partner's time in Colombia also follows Harry's recent complaints about ongoing safety risks in the UK. Former Labour Minister Bill Rammel also visited the South American nation during his tenure and commented on the dangers there. As a minister, I went to Colombia three times, and I only went with protection officers because it's one of the most dangerous countries in the world, Rammel claimed. However, I think you can have some sympathy for him. He's a damaged young man, he lost his mother at a very early age and that's clearly scarred him, he continued. He's estranged from his father and his brother, and speaking as a human being, not a monarchist, I think that's very sad.